welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, today's video is another charity shop haul. I think it's actually been a couple of months since my last charity shop haul and all of the things I have to show you today have kind of been collected ever since that video. I've been picking little bits up every time I do go into charity shops, which is normally every couple of weeks because that's pretty much all we do on a weekend when we're chilling out and relaxing and not doing any uni work we just go charity shopping so i have quite a few bits to show you today so i have a few items of clothing and then a couple of books so please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and also leave in the comments below what your favorite thing is that i've bought and with the books let me know if you've read any of them and what you think of them so quite a few of the items are actually from a second-hand store in Nottingham called the White Rose. There's a few of White Roses around like the town centre and we go charity shopping in Beeston because it's about 10 minutes away from where we live in Nottingham and there's one there as well. I think it was established in Nottingham and I'm not sure if they have any anywhere else. I've not seen them anywhere else but I know that they kind of started in Nottingham so they're a second-hand shop or like range of shops that hand select the pieces in there so they're kind of a little bit more tend to be more like des some designer brands and then they also have some things like Topshop, H&M, Primark, a lot of Zara so it tends to be quite different to a charity shop because in charity shops you have pretty much a bit of everything and it's not hand selected Whereas in White Rose, I find that there is a lot of stuff that I really like and you don't have to hunt through it the way that you do in a charity shop. So if you have any White Roses near you, I would definitely recommend checking them out. They're a little bit more expensive than a typical charity shop, but then they also do give their funds to a specific charity. I can't quite rem remember the name of the charity, but I know that it's kind of like a charity that does a lot of humanitarian work um, and works in a lot of like war-torn countries and things like that. So it's a really really great store and also at the moment they've got 25% off for students which is great and I used that today so when I went charity shopping earlier on today so really really good shop. So the first thing that I got from White Rose is this scarf. My boyfriend actually bought me this for a uh, four year anniversary but I did pick it out whilst we were there. I'm not sure where this is originally from i don't think it's actually got a label on it but i've been seeing so many nice scarves in charity shops at the moment whether it's charity shops or in white rose white rose always has loads of really really nice scarves and i think this was four pounds 95 so not too bad like if you get a scarf like this new it could be like up to 20 pounds it's a little bit creased but i have actually used this a couple of times already and it is so soft and so nice and if you are looking for a new scarf I would 100% recommend going to a charity shop or to like a thrift shop because today especially I was looking around for a scarf for my sister for Christmas I'm going to make sure she doesn't watch this video because I'm actually going to show the one that I got her in a second and I saw so many so so many that I liked and they're always really really affordable and this was probably one of the more expensive ones for four pounds but there was a couple of other ones in there for like two pounds so definitely go and look in charity shops or second hand shops if you're looking for a scarf because there's absolutely loads i may as well move on to the one that i have bought my sister for christmas this is from again white rose and i got this one today this is a really nice long and thick um scarf from a gap and it looks pretty like real gap from like the label and stuff but whether it's is real or not it was four pounds 95 and it is so thick and so nice and i'm actually really jealous because look at how nice this color is i'm actually gonna try it on for you so that you can see kind of what it looks like so just like this it's so so nice i'm really jealous that i've actually bought this for her and not for myself but i know that when i showed my mom the one that i've bought um a couple of weeks ago she said that my sister really wanted a nice scarf so i thought i'd get her one for christmas and i feel like this is just the absolutely perfect color and it would go with pretty much anything so again 
it's just another example of what nice scarves you can actually get secondhand. I think I might as well stick with White Rose. This is the last thing that I have bought from White Rose over the last couple of months and this is something that I did actually get today. Now this is such a nice coat. It's insane and I saw it from outside the shop and I was like oh, and it's in my size as well and I tried it on. This is it. Let's see if I can stand up and show it you. So this is a new look petite coat that's like really fluffy it's like one of those teddy coats with like um tortoise shell buttons and this was 16.95 but because they were doing 25 percent off for students who um like signed up to their mailing list i got this for like 12 pounds which is so so good the only problem with it is that there is kind of like a little bit this bit looks a little bit ripped but I could literally sew that up so so easily and it's originally from new look so i feel like this would have actually been quite pricey probably like 30 40 pounds originally and it literally looks so so nice on so i could not be happier with that and this is the kind of thing that you wouldn't tend to necessarily find in a charity shop because they tend to be a little bit more like rough and ready because they are second hand and obviously they are second hand from White Rose as well. But if you go to a place that actually hand selects, you're probably more likely to find something that looks pretty much brand new, like that jacket. And they always have stuff in like that. Literally every time we're going, they always have really nice coats and jumpers and all kinds. So I could not be happier with that purchase. So next I'm actually going to move on to the British Heart Foundation because this is a charity shop, probably my favourite charity shops because I tend to always see something that looks really good in there and they are a little bit more expensive though I'd say British Heart Foundation is more expensive than other charity shops. I've never bought books from British Heart Foundation because they tend to be a little bit more pricey than from other charity shops but the clothes wise Normally in a charity shop you see like one or two things because you have to hunt. I was literally like hands full and I had to decide which three I was going to get. So the first thing that I actually picked up which is from H&M originally is this jumper. It actually looks really similar to the one that I've got on but it's actually a completely different colour. If you can see it when I come close up it's actually pink, purple and yellow and cream and it's like a cropped jumper. I washed this the day that I got it and unfortunately it's gone a little bit like I don't know if you can see but it's gone quite strange with um fluffy so I've had to try and like remove some of this fluff um but it wasn't like that when I got it so I think I probably had to wash it in a certain way that I didn't wash it in but it is so nice like when I saw this it literally does look brand new until I stuck it in the wash so I'm gonna have to try and remove some of this fluff but this was four ninety five, so for such a lovely brand, pretty much brand new jumper from H and M as well, I could not be happier with this purchase. Next up from the same shop, which is something that's originally from Primark, is this long sleeved top, which is like orange and I think it does some green in there. I've worn this, like, bought it last week popped it in the wash and I've worn this like four times already uh, I absolutely love this because it's like a tight um high neck like it's got a little high neck on it and also the colour is just like autumn isn't it it's just such a nice colour and I've actually been wearing it underneath the thing that I'm going to show you next which I really really love this was two pounds and when I first saw it I was like Hmm. would you have even paid much more than two pounds when you buy it new from Primark but I didn't even really care because if I'd seen this in Primark then I would have bought it from Primark and it's a good thing that I got to get it from a charity shop and the money's actually going to charity instead so I absolutely love this and you'll probably see this in an upcoming video because I feel like I'm going to get so much wear out of it and then the next thing that I got which I have worn even more times than that top. I've worn that top underneath it, I've worn different tops underneath it since I bought it. And it is this pinafore, which is an, originally from 
Urban Outfitters. So you know that this was probably about £50. So it looks like this. It looks a little bit creased because I have been wearing it quite a lot. It is like a black. And if anyone knows Urban Outfitters, you'll know that they have this kind of like corduroy material that is so like soft and fluffy and you almost can tell it's uh, like when I saw it I could tell it was Urban Outfitters before I even looked at the label you can see like this and it just goes down into a little skirt again this was like literally perfect when I bought it and then as soon as I put it in the wash it did make it go quite creased and get bits and stuff on it which is a bit annoying but I've must have just washed it in the wrong way but it does up on the sides with these silver buttons and it's just really really nice and this was 8 99 so a little bit more expensive again for a charity shop i feel like 8 99 but then this was probably about 50 pounds and it's really really nice quality it looks like this on the back and it's super super cute i love pinafores i'm always in a pinafore and then the last item of clothing that i picked up which actually isn't from a charity shop but i still wanted to mention it is this jumper because i wanted to mention it because you guys will probably be able to pick it up it's this cream jumper with big sleeves it's really really nice and this is from next and i got it from the next outlet store in nottingham and this was 11 pounds when normally it's 28 and it's so nice like I have so many jumpers but they're all really really funky and I just don't have any plain ones and I absolutely love this one and I also have been wearing this underneath this when it's a bit colder so this bit sticks out um above the jumper and then these bits of the sleeves stick out and it just looks really really nice but yeah, only £11, which I think is so, so good um, from £28 for a brand new jumper. And it's really, really good quality. So if you have a next outlet near you, then see if you can find this in there. Now on to the books. So the first book that I picked up from a charity shop is Blood Orange by Harriet Tice. And I have actually already read this book. It is quite a popular one, I would say. I've seen it a lot on social media, book talk bookstagram so when I saw it I really wanted to pick it up because it was 50p so why not it is not very long and I finished this I think in just a couple of days over a couple of evenings and I was drawn to it especially because it's about a lawyer she's actually a barrister and obviously I'm going to be a lawyer I'm going to be a solicitor so I just was drew to it like because of that anyway and I haven't read a thriller in absolutely ages so this was a good way to get me back into it because I knew that it was one that people really like. So on the back it says, Alison has it all, a loving family and a career on the rise. She's just been given her first murder case to defend, but all is never as it seems. And yeah, on the front it says, a damaged marriage, a toxic affair and a dark obsession. So it is a really good read. I did really enjoy it. I think I gave it about three or four stars because I felt that I was waiting for like a twist to happen and it didn't happen till like right at the end where I was like <gasps> or like a few things happened and I wasn't like massively surprised I don't know why um but it, it was still like a really really good read and I haven't read a book like it before especially the way that it finished at the end I was quite shocked about that I don't want to give anything away but there is a big twist at the end and then you're following like quite a few different parts and there's a, a few different almost storylines within Alison's life that is going wrong so you've got her family her affair that you know about from the front so I'm not spoiling anything there and also the person that she's defending in the murder trial so you've kind of got like three things going on all at the same time so it's really really interesting and there's always something happening and I wouldn't I would say it's quite fast paced as well um even though I did feel that it's something like is there going to be a twist like I was felt like there was going to be a twist in there and it didn't happen till the end but it was still quite quick and like are you the, like the whole time you're thinking something dodgy is going on here 
like pretty much through the whole book so uh, but then you don't know actually what the dodgy thing is you'll know what i mean if you read this you'll know exactly what i mean but yeah i would really recommend this and i really liked reading it in the month of october and it's also i think literally on the first page it says something like about october leaves or autumn leaves or something and i was like perfect absolute perfect book for this time of year so i recommend this one and i've also seen this in so many charity shops it's insane so that's how you know like a book is even quite popular is when it's in loaded charity shops but also does that mean it was popular but then a lot of people didn't like it which is why they donated it i don't know but this is one of the books that i see in like loads of charity shops so if you want to pick it up then i would say to so have a look in some charity shops before paying the full price for it next up which is also another really popular book that i have never seen in a charity shop before is hamlet by maggie o'farrell so this is um a bestseller i'm sure a lot of you have heard about this if you're fans of books or you follow any bookstagrams or anything like that it is a book about shakespeare's son hamlet who passed away when he was really really young and it's from more of his perspective and i think shakespeare's wife's perspective and they never actually name shakespeare i think they just call him the playwright something like that so it's really not about him at all it's about the family and you'll obviously recognize the name hamlet because it sounds a lot like hamlet which is who shakespeare like based his name off his son's name so i think this is going to be really really interesting for me because i did do a lot of shakespeare at a level because i did um english literature at a level i nearly forgot what it was called then <laughs> so i think i'm going to find this one really really interesting and it's going to be different from anything that i've read before so i'm really looking forward to reading this paid 50p for that book and i also paid 50p from this book from a different charity shop and for this book that is so so popular that i've never seen in a charity shop before 50p is like so good so i'm really really excited to read this one and then from another charity shop i picked up a scrapbook because i really really want to do some scrapbooking i got this for one pound 80 which i knew was really really cheap for a scrapbook it's got a nice like brown pattern on it everything that's like brown at the moment i'm like oh it's autumn <laughs> i mean who really cares with a scrapbook what color it is but it has got a nice pattern on it and it's also got space on the front for you to put a photo in which i thought was really nice and you don't tend to see with scrapbooks and then obviously it's just a plain scrapbook inside and i'm just really really excited to get started with it i've already got some like new highlighters and stuff and some washi tape and things to actually start using in here and i'm going to do some of this tonight actually i've been really really waiting to kind of get my creativity on and we were looking for a scrapbook for quite a while in different shops we just couldn't find one that we really liked because they're not that affordable really for like quite big thick one they're not really very affordable so when we saw this in the charity shop we were like yes please for like under two pounds this was such a steal and then last but not least which isn't actually from a charity shop is this book which is turtles all the way down by john green i picked this up from the little outdoor book swap that we've actually got that's like 30 seconds away from my house so i picked this one up which i saw a couple of weeks ago um i haven't read john green in literally ages so i thought it's going to be nostalgic i think this is one of his newer books it's got it's a very very pretty front now i actually have a love-hate relationship with john green i really really like the bot in our stars as many people did but then i actually hated <laughs> um looking for alaska uh paper towns and will grace and your grace and like i enjoyed them as i was reading but then i felt the endings were always rubbish like did anyone else think that i was kind of just like really especially with paper towns and a lot of people kind of was like really excited when the film came out ages ago but i'd already read the book and i was like mm, i don't really care because the ending's not very good i don't know i felt like i'd been disappointed with a lot of his books and i haven't read any for years and years but when i saw this i was like i'm gonna give this a try and see what i think of john green now i'm nearly 21 base like in comparison to when i was like 13 and 14 reading his other books so 
I'm quite excited for this one. I think I'm going to read this really fast. It's not very big at all and the text is actually really big so I'm quite looking forward to getting into this and seeing what I think of it. And that is everything. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, let me know in the comments what your favourite thing was that I picked up and give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. And yeah, thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!